Hello folks, Mundane Man here again. And as you can see, we're in the laundry room today and we're gonna look after a problem with uh, our front load uh, washing machine here where it has developed a nasty stink. And this is not an uncommon problem with uh, front loader washers. Um, they develop an awful smell over time and you need to do proper cleaning on them to uh, keep the, the grunge and the smell and the, the grossness away. So I'll show you my process for uh, cleaning out the interior gasket around the door here and the best ways to uh, maintain your washing machine. So let's get at it. Okay, so the first area we're going to look after is the glass here. Now, I don't think you can tell on the camera, but it's got quite the buildup of soap scum on it. So I am going to use a just an all-purpose disinfectant. Um, this is a cleaner and disinfectant we just got from the dollar store. It's biodegradable. It's called Hertel, but you can use any type of disinfectant slash cleaner like a Lysol or something like that. You could probably even get away with using vinegar and water and baking soda or some kind of home brewed solution, but the, the main key on this is it's a disinfectant. So let's just spray the glass. And I like to use a microfiber cloth. I'm just gonna see if we can get all that soap scum off of there. Anywhere there's any kind of residue or um, just a buildup of scum, that's always going to give you a, uh, some kind of stink. And where there's stink, there's some kind of mildew or, or mold or you name the disgustingness. I'm going to just do around the door frame as well. And as quick as that, that came out pretty good. Still got some down on the bottom here. Just give that glass a good cleaning. Get that soap off of there. And that is that. That's it. Let's put a hole in the wall while we're doing it too. The next thing I'm going to do is around the, the door opening. I'm just going to clean out this area too. Same disinfectant spray. Microfiber cloth. Okay, so the next step in the cleaning process is this rubber gasket here that seals the door from any leakage of water and such. And down in this rubber part, you can see that's where the water drains through from the drum and also up here is where the water comes into the drum and these areas just seem to build up a bunch of scum and and uh, you need to clean that out to get rid of the, part, the stink as well. So what I'm going to use is the same disinfectant and cloth and I'm just going to clean all around inside of that uh, gasket on the inside of it. So I got my fiber cloth and my disinfectant cleaner. I'm just going to spray some of this in there. Let it soak in a bit. And do the outside of the rubber here as well. You can just fold back the rubber here where those holes are and get your cloth and your hand right in there and just give it a good cleaning. I went and gave my cloth a good rinse out. Got the old soap and, and disinfectant off of it. We'll wipe in here a second time. Just make sure we got everything clean. Okay, so we got that inner area pretty clean and that disinfectant should get rid of any uh, mildew buildup that should is probably there caused part of the stink. Now the other part that most people probably don't realize you need to clean is underneath uh, where the, the gasket mat meets up with the, the plastic um, ring around the drum. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there is more scum in there than you really care to know about. So that's another area you got to get right in behind and pull your gasket out and 
clean some of that yuckiness out of there. We're going to use the same microfiber cloth and disinfectant and try and get some of that soap scum out of there that's and hair and lint and you name it's in there that's where the real stink is probably coming from is is underneath there okay i got the gasket peeled back a bit so i'm gonna get my cleanser in there and my disinfectant give it a good spray down there take my microfiber cloth really get in there and clean out that grossness I don't know if you can see that but that is just disgusting now it's mostly where the water sits down at the bottom here that creates the soap scum and lint and all that stuff so I'm just going to peel this back a bit more and clean up higher here Sadly, these washers are a little bit more high maintenance, but they do a better job of cleaning your clothes and also, uh, you know, on water consumption, they're way better. Make sure you get the, the plastic around the drum, but also the backside of the gasket too. Right underneath this little lip here is a bit of a catch area too, so let's get our cleanser in there. Let it soak for a couple seconds, and then really get in there and give it a good cleaning. Okay, that looks way cleaner than it did before. And that was probably where most of our stink was and even on the inside here got rid of some of the slime and and yickies now we'll have to get this gasket pressed back into that lip make sure we get it all the way around and back in place where it came out of make sure it is sealed bit of a finicky job just a matter of stretching and tucking back on that plastic uh, molding clean this often enough like me um, this takes way longer than it should I would think you should be doing this you know once every two or three months or more often if you start noticing a smell truth be told I've done this once in eight years so maybe we've been lucky with the smells so you can see I've got the gasket tucked back in next to the drum all the way around and we've cleaned the inner part of the gasket we've cleaned the outer part wiped down the plastic trim piece um, well it's not really trim I guess it's a guide for the rubber in between the the drum and the uh, door seal and that's way better than it was before now I don't want to gross you out but I was using the bathroom sink over here to uh, rinse out my cloth and that, my friends, is the disgustingness that was caught in that gasket on the door of the washing machine. That sink is white, you know. That is pretty gross. Okay, another area to be cleaned in your washer is the soap and bleach and fabric softener dispenser. They start to build up just kind of a scummy feel because of the uh, soaps and stuff that get put in it. So I'm going to use the same disinfectant to clean the surfaces and then as part of running the washer to clean the drum which we'll get to next um, we'll make sure that we use some vinegar or something in here to flush it out as well.
So I'm going to remove it from the washer completely. Underneath here there's a button you can push and you just push that down and the whole drawer comes out of the machine. And you know in here could use a bit of a wipe down as well. And I even felt some moisture that's just sitting in this thing from past washes. And you know it, um, all that should be dried out and, and a good disinfectant used to clean it. Again, I'm going to use my disinfectant spray and spray all the surfaces off here. And on the top plate, we'll spray that as well. You may have to do this a couple times. And you may have to rinse it out in the sink as well to get all of the, the grossness off of it. So I would say with the gasket, you can see some of the scum that's coming off of there from the soaps and and uh, fabric softeners and such. I would say uh, maintenance wise, you should be doing this every three months as well as cleaning out the gasket. Little bits and pieces. Just remember where that came off of. I may have to check the camera because I do not know where it came off of. I think it was just right, right in here, but... Okay, I got everything rinsed off in the sink. Everything's nice and clean now. This little piece that separates uh, powder from liquid uh, detergents just slides in two slots that are there the uh, words facing out to you and this little sucker just goes back in where you pull it off of like that and now we're just going to clean out the area where the drawer for the detergents slides in again folks do this more often than I do I think once every four to eight years is probably not quite enough. Very good. And we'll just slide the tray back in. There's just kind of guides that you slide it in along the sides there. Okay, the final step on this cleaning process is going to be to clean out the drum. Now, because of the uh, low water levels in these drums, uh, in behind they start to build up lint and gunk and slime as well so um, there's a few products you can use on the market especially if your washer comes with a clean cycle which ours does there you can go to a clean wash and it recommends a product called all fresh which I'm not sure is made by tide but there's oxy clean there's tide there's a few out there that I'll link down below that you can use for cleaning the drum and those are mainly if you have the uh, the clean washer uh, cycle on your machine. I'm going to use a homegrown uh, method, which is um, a cup of vinegar and a half a cup of baking soda. So the baking soda we're just going to sprinkle in the drum, like such. And the vinegar we're going to put in the detergent dispenser. And you can see it already dripping in there. I don't know why it starts already. And we are going to close up the machine and we're going to turn it to the all fresh cycle and it runs for 46 minutes obviously and hit start. And basically with the uh, clean washer it spins faster and it also um, uses hot water to clean up the drum. Okay it's starting to fill. So let's check back in 46 minutes and give it the old sniff test and um, I think that'll be the end of this process I hope. Okay so our wash cycle finished um, using the clean washer cycle on our machine. If you don't have the clean washer uh, cycle you can just run it through a normal wash cycle or some have a rinse and drain and spin cycle. You could possibly use that. This wash cycle lasted for about 45 minutes. Basically spun the drum 
fast back and forth and then it would stop and let water soak and back and forth again for 45 minutes, drain it, refresh it, that type of thing. Um, if you don't have that cycle, then just run a normal wash cycle with your uh, vinegar and baking soda. Um, again, you can use uh, those pucks or, or whatever you call them that uh, made by a fresh or OxyClean and I'll put a link, couple links down below. We've used those in the past too. But the, the key was getting all of the uh, gunk from around the uh, gasket cleaned out. I think that's where a lot of the stink came from. Plus the glass was pretty uh, gummed up with uh, detergent as well. And at the end of your washing cycle, um, it's always a good idea not to keep the door closed. Just keep it uh, unlatched and let the uh, the drum breathe. Um, it also saves on your gasket over time because it's not constantly have pressure on it so it'll relax and then when you close the door you get a nice tight seal around the door. So that's it for this edition of Mundane Man where we looked after some uh, cleaning maintenance on a front load washer. This is an HE type, this one happens to be a Maytag, but they're all pretty much the same other than maybe some differences in the types of cycles you have. So that's it for now, we'll catch you on the next one, Bye bye